to introduce James from London Leap, everybody. He will tell you more about London Leap and what they're trying to achieve. Hi, everyone. It's great to see so many people here. Um, so I'm from the London Leap. We're a new climate organising project um, based here in London. We're going to try and build new alliances and new stories about climate justice. Um, and we're inspired by um, what Naomi Klein has to say about climate change, which is that as much as it's a really serious threat to, to everything that we kind of hold dear, it's also an opportunity to build a fairer, more democratic society. So as the climate movement, we're really good at resisting. We're really good at saying no, saying no to fossil fuels, saying no to fuel poverty. But we've maybe been less good at telling a story about what we really want. What kind of society do we really want to live in? And we know we need a change in technology. We need to move from fossil fuels to renewable energy. But this is about more than changing technology. It's about challenging power, it's about challenging politics, and it's about fundamentally transforming the way that our society and our economy works. So climate change is caused by a deeply unequal and undemocratic economy, driven by profit above all else. It's caused by colonialism, resource grabs in the global south to service consumption in the north. It's caused by forms of racism that value some lives over others. We think at London Leap that challenging climate change means challenging racism, it means challenging colonialism, it means challenging the profit-driven economy, and it means building a society that's fairer and that's more democratic as well as greener. And in doing that, we're inspired by the Canadian Leap Manifesto, which some of you might have heard about. A couple of years ago, a process kind of put together by Naomi Klein uh, that brought together major trade unions in Canada, uh, indigenous groups, environmental campaigners, everyone came together to develop a collective vision of a Canada that prioritizes indigenous rights and that builds a just transition um, and an economy based on care for each other and the environment. So over the next few years here in London, we're going to be trying to initiate a similar project, the London Leap. Brings together uh, diverse groups from across the city, so diaspora communities, trade unions, uh, people fighting gentrification, carers, prioritizing the voices of people of color, people on the front line of environmental injustice in this country and elsewhere, to develop a vision of a just and democratic climate transition for London and a city that works for everyone. So a city where everyone can live well, run by and for the people that live in it, not by financial speculators. A city that invests in the public sphere instead of blindly following austerity dogma. And a city that leads the way to a clean economy. So at the moment, London is a fossil fuel capital. The flows of finance that start in this city are essential in making the fossil fuel economy keep turning. But we're not taking responsibility for that. We're not taking responsibility for our role in the fossil economy, or our role in the colonial processes that are essential for that. We need to take responsibility for this history, and we need to, to, uh, to build a better future. So we're, we're really new, we're just getting up and running, and we need everyone involved to start telling this story together, putting our, our minds together to think about what kind of London we want to live in and how we can take responsibility. So we're going to be having our first official launch event on the 4th of October, St. Margaret's House in Bethnal Green, 6.30pm. Um, we'd love to see lots of you there um, to come along, find out more and find out how you can get involved. So thanks everyone, good luck for the rest of the day. Thank you, James, and um, 